Hello, flatties and globe defenders. It's Critical Think from now on under. In this video, we're going to look at some ordinary everyday observations, some photos, a little bit of video that I took while I was in Pechabun in Thailand. Yes, we're just going to have a look at these observations and work out, well, how well do they fit flat earth or globe earth? I think this should be interesting. When I was in Thailand in September, I stayed at Pechabun on the 21st of September at a place called A Day in Pechabun. So I spent a day in Pechabun at A Day in Pechabun. Now, I'll look at this now. They tell us that the Earth is a globe, as you can see on this uh, Google Maps representation. But um, we don't have to necessarily take their word for it. We can do some observations which can test whether the Earth is globe or flat. And so I've got some observations from Pechabun. And uh, we'll go through that. So we'll zoom down in Thailand there. And... We can find our hotel. It's trying to get me a different one, but that's the one. And I'll show you some pictures from here because um, some of them are very interesting. Because, like the courtyard, and there's more of the courtyard, and especially this tower at the back of the of the building which was my observation point now there's a little spiral staircase you can get onto this platform here um, that's as high as you can get for normal ordinary mortals but um, that was that was the location now <coughs> we've got um, this is is to the north is up the screen. To the east, there's a mountain range. To the west, there's a mountain range. They're approximately the same height. Um, the one on the west is a thousand meters roughly. The one on the right varies from 600 to a thousand roughly, and it's fairly flat land in between. Now, what else do we have to look at here? I think that's it for that one. So I'm going to take some observations there and I'm going to put check marks against which, uh, which model and of the earth uh, matches these observations the best. So I've got my checklist here and I'll start my way through this. So I've got a video now here is a picture of the sunset but I'm going to switch to the video and start playing so the sunset and it's <coughs> over those mountains and it seems to be in a westerly direction but we'll be able to measure that and I've got a pan around, I'll start. It's a little bit quick. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Um, it probably should have been slower. But there you go. There's the sun shining on the mountains in the east. You can see the sun still shining on those. And you can see various heights of various mountains there. And then we pan around. 360 and back to the starting point which is pointing over the courtyard that I looked at before and here is that picture over the courtyard towards the west uh, you see the sun's just dipping over that mountain range there now we'll see what the globe model predicts about that it's on the 21st of September. Now I've picked Udon Thani. Um, it's, it's the closest region that was available in timeanddate.com. 
it's uh, within uh, a couple hundred kilometers so it's close enough and on the 21st of September the sunset is at 6.06 .06 p.m. As you can see in that picture was 6 p.m. it was over the over the mountain but not quite over the, the horizon that would be there if the mountains weren't there but at 6 p.m. it was just come going over the mountains there and on here it says around about 6 p.m. or oh, there it's it's going to be it's going to be very low in the sky about one degree so um, that's where the sun should be uh, 271 degrees which is almost due west and about one one degree so that's what the globe model says now to work out uh, on a flat earth uh, what the flat earth sun position would be uh, time and date Dot com tells us it's in Africa somewhere and on the flat earth AE map uh, which is uh, the accepted map for the official map for flat earth these days is um, it is it is it does correspond to uh, half a quarter of the way around the flat earth clock so that is the correct position for the sun for the flat earth and I've worked out the distance to the sun is 5,109 miles I know that looks like meters but these are miles and 6,214 miles there it works out the distance to the sun horizontally is 8,040 miles and plug that into a calculator and the we say that its height is 3,000 miles or more on flat earth it could be more but I'm being taking the lowest value to be as favorable as possible to flat earth minimum of 3,000 miles and that means the angle to the Sun is 20.5 degrees and here's a picture with a different exposure uh, the Sun is as I said before you could see in that darker picture before was just over the edge there of that mountain range um, and that's well below 20 degrees and very close to one or two degrees and you can see the direction is across the courtyard um, there's a uh, mobile phone tower there another communications tower there I was able to locate this mobile phone tower but I could not locate this one maybe it was built since um, Google Earth would, was uh, in that area of Google Street View I was able to locate this one over here I'm pretty sure but it's a bit too far out to the right so I will go to the to the map and there was something there so before I go all the way to the map I just want to check the distance to the mountains so let's measure the distance between the mountains is roughly 34 kilometers 20 miles so that's going to be important in, in another another measurement so here is the day in Petchabun and this is my observation point to the to the west direction there's the courtyard with that other little tower thing and we're looking out this way and you can already see that it's that it's west this north is to the top of this picture but we can get street view I'll pop street view out there in the street outside and you can see they were still building this 
um, when this street view came through. So that's the tower for is my observation point. This is the street outside. This is the corner street here, and we can see that other structure in the courtyard is there. They haven't finished building this. All these posts over here, they turned that into a car park, and this is the reception area. It's amazing. I'm not really sure why this is so old. But anyway, we stayed in it was fairly new and we stayed in it. So we we go to the to the street outside and we're heading west. And we find that tower is here, which is up there. It's on that building there. You can see that there. Now the other tower should have like I says, I couldn't find it. Maybe it hadn't been built yet. It's a very another very interesting thing that this car, the Google Street View car, there was a sign here: a "Day in Petchabon, stay, eat, play like a local." That the place was still being built. Very strange. Anyway, that's verified that. Um, the direction that the sun was setting is actually, I'm just going to draw a line in here, actually to the west. Oh, what a surprise. Uh, that seems to match the globe quite well. Um, the flat earth is predicting a different direction, and I don't think I specifically mentioned it, but if you go back here and you see the flat earth is predicting a north-west direction. It's a long way from west, it's northwest. So I forgot to mention that before. But that's the building there with the with the cell tower as you call it, or mobile communications tower on top of it. So that's the sun is observed. West. And we Talk about we talked about on a flat earth the height has to be 20 degrees on a flat earth and one or two degrees on the globe. So this is what the sun angles would look like. Now there's a big difference in the flat earth prediction. That's a huge, huge difference. And um, so 20 degrees is up there. And this is about two degrees here. So this is sort of like to scale as 32 kilometers along there and one kilometer high there. And the sun was just uh, just gone over the top of the mountains there. The, and these mountains here were still in, in sunlight. Um, the sun was just around about. So that, that one or two degrees is pretty much exactly matching what the globe model has predicted. Now I'm just going to get a drink of water before I go into the next one, next part, which is some more observations. Okay, let's see how we're going with our checklist so far. Now we've got the first one on the list is, yep, it looks flat to me. Now on a globe, you saw I panned around and it looked it looks flat. Definitely it looks flat. So there's two reasons for this looking flat. One is it's very big, 6,371 kilometers in radius. And the other one is because of the geometry of a sphere, your horizon is a circle around you that does not increase or decrease in height. It's a very little known fact, but that's a fact. It, that doesn't actually prove globe or flat, so that, that's consistent with globe and certainly does look flat. So that's consistent with a flat earth and a globe earth. Now with the sunset azimuth, you can, we could tell that it was predicted uh, 270 degrees, measured 270 degrees. I'll call that okay. Uh, flat earth uh, predicted uh, Northwest, but that's not the direction that we observe. So, flat Earth it doesn't comport with reality in that case. 
and uh, the sun elevation angle I've done the I've done the calculations and at the sunset there when it was I was taking the photos it should have been about one degree in the sky and it was so we'll tick that one and um, the flat earth measurements shows that it should be 20 degrees in the sky it was not so we'll have to make that one a fail for flat earth well I'm sorry I'm gonna have to cut it there I don't like to make my videos too long and this one will go on for too long so I've split it into parts one and two and uh, thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed part one and I'll bring part two for you shortly